you can pick up your pinwheel gently off the table Hi and welcome to another episode of Craft on Camera with MHA Digital Communities. My name is Becky and I'm a community coordinator and today I've got another quick craft as we'll be making a windmill. All you'll need is some scissors, some glue, a piece of card or paper, a little stick and a pin with some blue tack or some cork. The first step is to get your card and make it into a square shape. So I'm going to do this by folding it over like a triangle and then cutting out this excess bit of card. Try and be as neat as possible when you cut this. With this already as a triangle, I'm going to fold it over again to make another triangle and really press down to get those crease lines. Then you need to unfold it so you get a shape like this. Where you've got the crease lines is where you're going to be cutting. So you need to take your scissors and cut a line about two thirds of the way down so not all the way to the middle till about there. And you need to do this on each of these creases. Once you've got your cuts, it should look something like this. Once you've got a shape like this, you add a dab of glue to the middle. You then want to take one of your corner pieces and fold it over. Be careful not to fold the edge as you want to keep it bent so the wind can get into it. Press down on the middle so that it will dry. Once it's secured, you may want to hold a bit longer just to make sure it's fully secured there with the glue. And once it's secured, add another dollop of glue just on top. You then go to your next corner piece and do the same step again, folding on top. Again, we're repeating the same step where you add a bit of glue on top and you're taking your corner piece and gently folding it over and press on to hold. You may want to add some more glue to just keep it extra secure. Don't worry if it doesn't stick down fully as when we put the pin in it'll hold everything together nice and tight. But for now you can just use your finger to keep it in place. Add a final dollop of glue on top and take your final corner and fold that inwards. Keep your finger pressed there for a minute or so until the glue has a chance to dry. And this is what it should look like but you can use any coloured card that you'd like. You then want to take your blue tack or your cork and put it underneath where the centre is to secure it and then take your pin and make sure it's all the pieces of the corners are overlapped and press the pin through it. There you go. This should also go into the blue tack as a safety. You then need to get your stick and remove the blue tack from the back of your pinwheel and put it against your stick. You might need to get somebody to give you a hand with this if you're not feeling too confident about doing it yourself. Again, same method. Pop your stick on the counter and you just want to put your pin through it. Press down to make sure it's all secure. Once everything's secure, 
you can pick up your pinwheel gently off the table, making sure the blue tack is still on the pin. And there you have your finished windmill. And I've put hours in our novelty plant pot and you can learn how to make this from one of our other craft on camera videos. These look great on a windy day in your back garden and can be really relaxing to watch. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of Craft on Camera and will join me again for another episode. Thank you. Bye.